Hello and welcome to this week's painting tutorial. Today I'm going to be painting the WizKids Rust Monster and rust techniques are something I know I've struggled to get right um, and they take quite a bit of trial and error so uh, hopefully this video may be of some help. So first up the model was given a coating of the rust foundation colour from the Life Colour Rust and Dust set. Uh, this is brushed on because unfortunately I bent the needle in my airbrush. Next up, the uh, base, the scrap bits of metal, sword so and so forth, was painted with the same colour. It was really quite fiddly because obviously there's lots of detail on this base. So I had to go back several times where I'd miss some bits. As you can see from the video, there really is quite a bit to do on this base. Once the base rust colour had dried, the model was given an overall wash with MIG oil brush of rust and dark brown mixed together just to really highlight the uh, areas of detail. With this dry, a slightly lighter shade from the rust and dust set was applied on the model. It was also applied on the base as well to pick out the various details. A quite liberal wash of Space Wall's grey contrast paint was then added to the base to help show up the details. Next up, a lighter colour from the Rust Wizard Liquid Pigment set was added. And this is repeated in several stages. As you can see here, I'm adding one of the really light tones, really quite sparingly, and this I went backwards and forwards several times to get a, uh, a realistic effect. When this had all dried, some MIG Pigments Light Rust was added just on the tops, just to give some texture. As you can see, I'm using a, uh, a kitchen towel here because it goes everywhere and you don't want to ruin your cutting mat. A dry brushing of Citadel Lead Belcher was applied over the edges of the model, just trying to get the raised edges of the plates. You can see, this was done quite sparingly, but trying to get a consistent finish. Then highlights were added with Rune Fang Steel just on the very edges, just to accent what the dry brushing had picked out already. The final pin wash of oil brush of black, very dark brown, was added just to add out the details and just provide some extra contrast that maybe been lost during the painting process. Finally, the base was given a coat of Agrax Earthshade and the model was pretty much done. So here we see the finished rust monster. Hopefully it's a convincing effect. I've never been quite happy with the rust effects I've done in the past and I still feel I've got a way to go, but uh, it's all about experimenting and building up layers of contrast, really. So um, as far as the next video is concerned, I was thinking of doing something in several parts. I'm very keen on doing dioramas and I've just got some great figures from Evolution Miniatures, some Metro 2033 Stalker figures. So. Over a couple of weeks I'm going to be doing this project, maybe painting some figures first and then doing the diorama base, so on and so forth. So thank you again for watching and I hope to see you again next week. Take care.